Hi everyone, um, I'm just taking a break from writing an essay and I wanted to make a video about uh, whether or not you should apply for graduate entry medicine. So really I'm, I'm aiming this video at people, who, uh, school leavers, people who are sort of 18 years old and they haven't got into medicine the first time. Either they didn't get the grades or just didn't get in, which happens to people sometimes. And they may be asking themselves, oh, what should I do now? But another question that might come up is, hmm, should I do another degree? And can I go down the route of graduate entry medicine? So really, I, I have quite a strong opinion about this. Um, uh, anyone who's asked me this question, whether or not they should do graduate entry medicine, or rather whether they should do a degree in order to uh, a degree that's not medicine in order to get into medicine later on via the graduate entry route, I would tell them, no, don't do it. <laughs> um, the reason for this being is that it is really expensive. It's really, really competitive. Um, the the finance uh, support that's offered by the government is, I believe, under the question or speculation at the moment whether or not it's going to continue. Um, also, it's just, it, it's a little bit soul destroying to be honest. Um, the reason why I say this is because if you, you know, you've been gearing up to, to study medicine the whole time, you've been doing your A-levels, whatever it course it is that you're doing, and then you, you don't get in and then you have to think about doing another course that's very similar, but actually not, it won't lead to the same outcome. It, it's just a little bit rubbish. Um, I know this because at my university there are a few people who who um, they applied to clinical sciences because they didn't get into medicine, and a few of them are left now because they just realised that it, it you know it just doesn't it just wasn't for them, or you know they just seem a bit miserable because um, they do have an opportunity to apply for medicine in the second year, um, but you have to be like the top five percent of the year or something to actually get in so yeah it's really really competitive even more so the norms getting getting into medicine when you're 18 once you get past that and you start doing a degree so um yeah I, as i said i would advise that if you didn't get into medicine first time try at least once again and do whatever it takes to do that so either um, retaking your A-levels so you can speak to the individual universities and find out what their retakes policy is. Um, if you didn't, if you still got the right grades and you just didn't get in then you'd be mad, mad not to just do a gap year and get some experience and make some money because you know you can just apply again if you're a good candidate um, or you know and also maybe have a look at your interview technique maybe it was your interview that wasn't quite right. Um, I mean, you know, some people just aren't lucky um, in that respect, and maybe their interview was okay, but it just didn't quite. It wasn't quite up to the the standard. Um, so there are plenty of things you can do. Um, so, but yeah, from personal experience, I I just I just wish I, I just wish that somebody had um, spoken to me when I was younger and just reassured me that I didn't have to go along with everybody else and go to university at the same time as everybody else and it was okay to take a gap year I wasn't really sure and yeah so that's my advice and I hope that that's helpful to you.